there will always be times where from the outside looking in, you'd say, this don't seem worth it. Like there were times where I would be thinking like, well, what does my mom get out of this? She's holding him down. She's taking care of us. She never has a moment to herself. Like, when does she have any fun? When does she, you know, but that's from my perspective looking right. in. Like, I couldn't deal with that. I could, I, I would need a man who would be doing, but I am, and, and I'm also looking at ways in which I feel like she's, like, he's always running the show. He's running the show. Well, when does mom get to choose? Not realizing until you, until I got older, the ways in which women, and I'm watching, I'm specifically now talking about black women because these are the women that I've watched, have been able to control so many things without raising their voice, without saying a word. Um, you know, they could do it in the kitchen, cooking. You know, mm -hmm. they could do it with what they didn't say. They could do it with a look. They could do it with asking a simple question that the effect of that question that they ask has the brother thinking, man, does she, you know, the power of women. Yeah. And so the quiet for, in my mom, and I'm not saying all women are quiet, but my mom was, you know, w my father was like, my mom was quiet, you know, in, the, in that way. Not like she was quiet with us, but I'm just saying that the two of them, the dynamic was yeah. very much, they were very much opposites. So I was more so looking at him in the power position and her in the subordinate position, but really that wasn't the case. I did not have the wisdom to see that then, yeah. to see the kind of power, you know. So at the end, when you hear dad say, no, she wasn't just Dick Gregory's wife. She was Dick Gregory. You know, I wouldn't be here without this woman. Yeah. Um, the ways in which she was able to navigate things, were perhaps without us or him even knowing. So there were times when I looked in and said, man, I don't see how this is always worth it for mom. That's just from my selfish perspective mm -hmm. and my you know, unwise perspective. Whereas when you, when you watch them go through all the years and you live through, through those years with them, or at least some of them, you know, it's like I wasn't around, you know, when they got married, but right. for that which I witnessed, you know, 60 plus years of marriage. And then you, and then, and then you see what they built. They could have walked away at any time. They could have. You think about all the things that come up in relationships. Any number of things could really be reasons to walk away on any given day. So I can't imagine how many of those things could have come up for them. Or did that you guys just didn't know about. They wouldn't even know because they was old school. They, we didn't hear. Mm -mm, we didn't, I never heard them argue. That was another powerful thing. I never heard my parents argue. So um, mm. that is like unheard of today you know what I mean like I mean if they're arguing kids are gonna hear it we did not hear it if they if they and maybe they didn't um but what I'm saying is that to 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 live through something to be in it to win it long enough to say damn that shit was worth it that is is like Wow. You know, it's like, wow. And to talk to mom now, she could tell you, you know, for days. She'd be talking for days if you were asking why was it worth it. You know, so there's wow. something to be said about the fact that you, you stuck it out and you see the value now of how beautiful that journey really was. 